Hey guys, Jared Beckwith here. In today's video, I'm excited to announce my brother and I have trained our first neural network that is able to detect seizures. Now it's a far ways away from being the best in the world right now, but we have our first working model and we trained this artificial brain from scratch that is able to recognize seizures on some level. I mean, if you guys are familiar with all different seizure detection programs out there, they're all uh, notoriously pretty bad. And you know, the first version that we made is pretty bad as well. It's essentially just a toy right now, but you, you know, you gotta be bad before you can be eventually good one day, guys. I've been trying to do this for over a thousand days now, guys, and I stuck with it. One of my favorite quotes from Albert Einstein, he says, he, he's not really smarter than anyone else. He just says that he sticks with the problems longer than anybody else. So me thinking about seizure detection for over a thousand days in a row, going through the trouble to become a registered EEG technologist, I didn't have to do that. I didn't have to sign up for college, go to school, do all this. But that was just a prerequisite to me being able to create this first version of seizure detection with my brother. Now it all is paying off in the end. Now we stuck with this problem and we tested the results. We, sh we trained our neural network on thousands of seizure examples. We showed it many, many examples and we got the results. Now when looking at the results, it gives you a bunch of different metrics like true positive rate, false positive rate, true negative rate, a bunch of different metrics. But one metric that I really like to keep things simple, guys, is the F1 score. It's kind of like a mixture of all the different metrics together. And in the beginning, we got a score of 61%, I think. So far ways away from being state of the art. Um, but we know of an idea to improve this score. This is just our baseline first version. It's, it's so much of just being a toy right now that we're not even implementing it into our, our software program. We wanna train a better neural network before we actually implement it into our software, Ion. So we've decided a way to improve the F1 score of our neural network is to train it some more. Luckily, we saved um, checkpoints in the data so that way we can just start the training again from where it left off because otherwise, guys, well, let me tell you, it took a couple days to train because it's looking through thousands and thousands of seizures. So it took a couple days for our computer. And my brother and I were thinking, hmm, how can we increase the uh, training speed? Well, we can use a better graphics card, which on my brother's laptop that we trained it on, his graphics card is good. It's a gaming laptop and all, but our desktop that my little brother plays on, it's, its graphics card is a little bit better. So it would train the neural network about a little more than twice as fast. So I was like, Christopher, we should just train it on the desktop that has a better graphics card and we'll get, you know, it'll train it faster. So my brother, Christopher, who's two years younger than me, he told me that our little brother, Matthew, who's eight years old, we can't really use that computer because our eight year old brother, Matthew, is using that computer to mine Bitcoin in order to get um, rewards for this game called Roblox to get Robux. He's, he's mining enough Bitcoin to where you can get like a $10 gift card for points for his video game. I thought that was insane. So you got this thing that's mining the Bitcoin? I got this like five days ago. Yeah, still pending. Still pending, huh? But you made some money from it? Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy, and you don't even have to put in much work. I guess it doesn't give you much money at all, but when you only need a little bit of money to get some, uh, some Robux points, it's yeah. worth it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So since my little brother Matthew is busy mining Bitcoin on the desktop, we're going to have to keep using the laptop, which is going to be a little bit slower, but uh, it'll, it'll be all right. We'll, we'll make it work, guys. You know, my, my little brother's got to mine his Bitcoin. We, he's got to keep his little operation going up, too. I can't shut down the Bitcoin mining operation. That's hilarious, guys. I couldn't believe it when I heard it. I was like, what? Yeah, so, but there's one thing 
that you got to keep in mind when you just keep training a neural network. You don't want to just keep training it so much that the neural network just memorizes the training data set and it's not able to generalize out into the real world when you show it real life examples. Because if you make a big enough neural network and just keep showing it the same examples over and over and over and over again, the network can be just big enough to where it just memorizes all of the training examples and that's called overfitting. It's overfitting the training data set and unable to generalize out into the real world. Now there's many different ways of dealing with this and one of those ways is stopping the training early so it doesn't just memorize the training data set so you got to find the right balance and that's what we're doing here just in the lab of my house <laughs> a lot of things going on my eight-year-old brother's mining bitcoin uh my my brother and i my dad were making eeg software named ion seizure detection artifact reduction I mean, I think the seizure detection journey is going to be similar to our artifact reduction journey. In the beginning, our artifact, re our artifact reduction was just a toy in the beginning. But as time went on and on, because it was just my, my brother's end of class project on his artificial intelligence class, that was our artifact reduction project in the beginning. And then it just kept improving more and more. And now it's at state of the art level. So we're just gonna do the same thing here with seizure detection. It might take a while, but one day we will be, we'll have state of the art seizure detection, guys. And this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. 61% F1 score, remember that number, so we can compare it in the future to our improved numbers once we got state of the art. I believe in myself. I mean, I have doubts like everyone else, but I believe if I try hard enough and long enough, if I stick with the problems long enough, like Einstein sticks with the problems, even if I don't have genius level IQ, I can still figure things out. Even if I can't do it myself, I can find other people that can help me figure out what I really wanna do, and that is make the world's best EEG software. So thank you all for watching. Make sure you hit the like button if you like this video. If you wanna support me, and of course my eight-year-old brother Matthew's Bitcoin mining operation, uh, I still can't believe it, guys. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Comment down below if you want to see any specific EEG videos. I'd love to uh, love to talk to you guys some more. See you later, my friends.